I can't tell you how wonderful it is to be in a room full of friendly faces. The world is such a scary place right now, and it became extra scarier after last week's Dutch elections when this man, no, not that man, that's Emperor Palpatine from Star Wars, this man, no, that's the Bond villain from Skyfall, this man, here at Wilders, came first in the elections, and they do not all look alike. I refuse to believe that. Now, it is very worrying because here at Wilders wants to ban immigrants, he wants to revisit Dutch colonial history and hold a referendum on EU membership of the, the Netherlands. But don't worry, everybody, Brexit is never going to happen. Remember when Brexit happened and the Brits found out they needed to pay to leave? The Dutch will never do that. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Of course, we're all watching what's happening in the Middle East, and we're horrified, but it's somewhat comforting to know that all our European leaders are speaking with one voice. I mean, they're speaking. I mean, they're racing to the Middle East for a photo op. But can we blame them, really? I mean, it's very hard to come up with a common position on such a delicate, nuanced, complex international matter. You know who doesn't care about that? Entrepreneur, billionaire, and walking midlife crisis, Elon Musk. <laughs> Now, Elon courted some controversy when he um, posted an anti-Semitic comment online, then visited the um, Israel in order to make things right, and he calls controversy his comfort zone. But he is crying because all the advertisers that are boycotting him might bring X to its knees. And that's really sad, isn't it? I know. I mean, if X ceases to exist, where are all the Russian bots going to go? I mean, maybe the metaverse. No, no one goes to the metaverse. What am I saying? Speaking of men in their 50s who just can't seem to get enough of the spotlight, guess who's back? David Cameron! Really? That guy? The guy who thought referenda were such a great idea, he did it twice? <laughs> well, uh, David, uh, I thought he was going to be back as a joke, but apparently he's back as um, foreign secretary. And this time, at least he's got some smaller issues on his plate, like a small spat about some ancient artifacts. I don't know if you heard, but uh, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak recently snubbed a meeting he was supposed to have with Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis because the Greek Prime Minister dared to go on UK TV and say that the Parthenon marbles that are in the British Museum should go back home to Athens, to their rightful place. And I mean, he really should have known better. Rishi is absolutely right, okay? When your host invites you to dinner, there are some basic etiquette rules you have to follow. You don't talk about religion, politics, or centuries of imperial plundering. Simple. <laughs> But you know what? Now that David Cameron's back, maybe he can hold a referendum on the matter. <laughs> And don't worry, David. We know how to get the British public's attention. We've already made the PR campaign for you. <laughs> I think we're going to win this one. I think we've got it. Well, everybody, it's nice to know that no matter what age we live in, ancient empires or nowadays, human beings are all basically the same. We have our, our own view of history and of petty fights. Enjoy the Schumann Show, everybody.